Hey, this is Mike, and I just want to take a minute to share a couple of simple tips for anyone who ever builds diagrams and, and charts in PowerPoint. So things like a mind map, uh, could be PERT charts, could be process diagrams, um, org chart is another probably pretty common one. Basically anything where you want to show relationships between certain things or certain objects. So here's an example of what I see a lot of people do when they build these. They draw lines, they just draw regular lines and there's nothing wrong with that, everything looks fine. The challenge comes when we start making adjustments and moving things around here on the chart. So let's say that uh, I don't like where this decision point is here and I want to move that over. You see I move that and now it's it's disconnected and I've got to go back I'm going to grab this arrow, I've got to take it over, I've got to take this elbow point, I've got to move it over. It's not wanting to go in the right place. And so it's just a really messy way to do anything where you're using these kind of lines to connect objects. So a better way, instead of just using regular lines, is to use connectors. And if you notice back here on our original, the endpoints for these lines are white squares and that's what it's going to look like if it's just a regular line. Over here on our new and improved version when we select that we see green circles instead and that tells us that these are actually connectors. And what that means is when I use connectors I can move these shapes around and all of my lines are going to automatically adjust and I don't have to do that extra tedious work of fixing three lines every time I just want to move a single shape. So if you're wondering what the difference is between just a regular line and a connector, really when you start off there isn't any difference. So regardless of which of those you want to use, you're going to start the same way by just coming up here to our shapes and grabbing whatever type of line that you want to use, so with arrows, without arrows. The difference comes in how you draw the lines and where you start and end those lines. So if I just come down here and you know I draw a line and then I move it up, you know that's sort of the the plain regular old line that we saw before and we don't want to use that. So if I want to make this a connector instead of a line, I'm just going to do the same thing, I'm going to start the same way but if you notice when I hover over this shape I get these sort of black connection points one on each side of this shape so what you want to do is you want to start your line right on one of those connection points and then when you drag it to the next shape see I've got four connection points on each of the corners of this shape and you just want to make sure you drop it on one of those anchor points or connection points and we've got our green endpoints here to tell us that okay hey that's a connector now I can dynamically arrange that and everything's going to stay connected no matter what. So really small simple difference that can make building these kind of charts a lot easier. A couple other things that can save you some time is if you don't want a straight line connector you can choose one of these elbow connectors as long as you're using those anchor points for your start and end points, they're going to be anchors and everything's going to adjust the way you want it to. If you change your mind and you want to change one of those connectors you've already added, just right click on top of that and go down here and you can change that to any of these three connector types. And we've seen the straight connector and the elbow. We want to see what the curved connectors look like. So you can see that it's easy to change connector types. The other thing that is handy is normally every time I want to go and do another one I've got to go back even if I'm using the same connector I've got to keep going back up here and picking that same one over and over again. But if you right click on the one you want and lock the drawing mode now it's going to keep that tool on and I can keep using that as many times as I want. 
and I'll never have to go back up there and keep repetitively picking the same tool over and over again. And the last thing I want to show you how to do is there might be times when it's helpful to add an additional anchor point. So let's say that, you know, I'm going to move this around maybe to a new position and I don't want to anchor it in one of those four default positions. So right now it's just the midpoint of each of the sides of that shape. So what I'd like to do is add a custom anchor point and that's pretty easy to do. All you have to do is right click on the shape, go down here to edit points, and now I can put a new point. Let's say we'll put it about right about there. I'm just going to add that point. And that's going to give me a new anchor point to anchor to. So if I go back and grab my line and I come up, and now you can kind of see that I've got an additional anchor point right at that spot where I wanted it. So you're not limited to those default anchor points and you can put those anywhere you want to get pretty specific for what you need on your charts. So those are a few things that maybe not everybody knows that I hope can help you when you're working with charts to build them a little bit better and a little bit faster. Hope that helps.